So somebody complained that I look at this South China Morning Post <clears throat> channel and talk about what they say in their videos. But they didn't really, well, not really at all, say what the problem with that was. They just threw a, a fit. China. Essentially. And um, that reminded me of a debate I had with um, this philosopher who no doubt works at Starbucks. Where he just assumed that we agreed on everything except I was just, you know, knowingly, because I'm evil, uh, eating animals, right? Essentially grant me all of my presuppositions so that I could win the debate and moral fag right so <laughs> the, the way you beat a philosopher in a debate on veganism is by stating humans are not our herb herbivores right essentially but uh he had assumed i don't know why that i knew that humans are or at the very least can be that right and that the uh, he also assumed that I believed that the vegan diet is the healthiest diet on the planet and all this other nonsense, right? That it's that it's the best course uh, pragmatically, right? For humanity and animals, obviously. So this is what uh, Jay Dyer calls and has a funny skit about the we now know fallacy, right? We now know, we now know, we, we do. Do we? <laughs> so uh, if you go and complain, I mean, you know, my five-month-old daughter is more articulate in uh, explaining why uh, she may or may not be upset at any one point in time. So try to do better. Thank you. Mmm, coffee, good. Anyway, um, you know, I guess, you know, YouTube suggested this channel to me. I started checking it out. And I guess the reason why I haven't unsubscribed is because they generally make short videos straight to the point, And I don't have to look at um, these zombified, genetically modified, whatever the hell happened to them. I don't know. Don't really want to. TV, American especially, Western TV talking heads. You hardly ever get any talking heads here. Right, And I just find myself wanting to throw up when I look at those people, right? Or worse, let's not uh, get into the details. Anyway, let's check out this video from South China. <laughs> Morning Post. Hong Kong overwhelmed with COVID dead. What? So the hospitals in Hong Kong are once again overwhelmed, yeah? Dead bodies pile in the city's morgues. That's what morgues are for, right? Hong Kong's three Public mortuaries reached around 90% capacity over the past week. Public mortuaries. So the corpses are, I guess, overflowing and they're being stored where they're not usually being stored. Or are they? Well, we don't know, do we? Right? If... What's the, not the new normal, but what's the normal for Hong Kong this time of year? What is it? Ah, who cares? Wait, given the cold weather, we have a surge in deaths? So what's killing people? Hmm. So 
The mortuaries and the public hospitals are already at capacity. So is it 90% or like what is it? Conflicting data, right? Get your story straight, guys. Also, this is very important because of the legal procedures involved. For the transfer of dead bodies to the public mortuaries. There is some delay and therefore there is pressure, right? So bureaucracy is the problem. Okay, good to know. A hospital source told the Post that refrigerated containers may be used to store dead bodies. Um, isn't that what they're for? I see an empty one. That's what they're for, right? Use them. Here we go. This is the same motto uh, that was used in Guayaquil here in Ecuador to quote-unquote quote overflow the hospitals. Some funeral homes are refusing to accept the bodies of people who have died from COVID-19, right? Well, no wonder <laughs> you scare the shit out of everybody about this super deadly disease. Well, no wonder they're not receiving these bodies, right? And, not, and because of that and bureaucracy and the fact that this time of year people tend to die more than usual, you have all these bottlenecks. Infections continue to rise, right? Infections aren't deaths. How good are these tests, right? We know how good they are. So Hong Kong in the last two years had 30, let's say 35,000 deaths. Uh, sorry, cases reported. Let's do some math. Predictions, right? COVID predictions. We, we all know about them, COVID predictions. We believe the city is scrambling to build isolation facilities for the infected. Hmm. Okay. Construction is underway with assistance from mainland China. Right? That bastion of uh, human rights. So, presumably, they're going to put, you know, the asymptomatic infected in there, right? So, so healthy infected people, inf <laughs> infected healthy people, right? Right. Because all the other people need hospital care, right? Hey, why not just uh, build more hospitals? Just, just an idea. Build just one more hospital will probably be if you're at ninety percent capacity, eh, probably one more hospital would be would suffice, right? Why not take that money and build another hospital? Isolation facility, right? With bars on the windows. Uh looks like a prison. Right? That that's what it is. Detention center. It only took a week. Wow, wouldn't you love to spend, like, have Christmas dinner with this one? 
She's just the charming one. Okay, so looks like the regular people will um, maybe they'll get to go to or some people maybe people with money will go to hotels and the dissidents, right, because Hong Kong has been dealing with a lot of unrest and protests those people will go to that nice uh facility facility with uh, with an ocean view through the steel bars And in order to achieve that, they will test everybody, right? Compulsory COVID-19 testing drive. Reduce the flow of people to a certain extent. Mm. Here we go. So, test everybody, and the people that test positive for uh, non mainstream ideas or being dissidents or disagreeing with any of the official policies, narratives, politics. Right, uh, they're gonna go behind bars essentially, and that's what this is. Okay, so as of Hong Kong has had two hundred five thousand, let's say two hundred six thousand cases and eight hundred fifty one deaths. What's the population of Hong Kong? Let's say seven and a half million, right? Two hundred, ooh, seven and a half million. Damn it! So we have two hundred five. Let's say divided by seven, five million. So in two years, almost three percent of Hong Kong's population got sick, right? Only 3%. How many deaths? Eight hundred fifty-one deaths out of seven and a half million. Okay. Wait, eight fifty? Eight fifty-one. 851 divided by seven and a half million. So one one hundredth of a percent of Hong Kong population has died from co with COVID-19, which has, you know, overwhelmed their hospitals and <laughs> come on people. Really? Really? We... That's my video, man. Thanks for watching.